Welcome again to Ask Chuck webcast. This is a webcast, as I tell you, every week. We do every week the, the Senate Sensation, which is roughly about 40 weeks out of a year. This week's session will be very short, only one and one half days. So I'll be in Iowa later on this week, much earlier than usual, to hold some town meetings on uh, uh, Friday. Uh, the reason this week is very, very short is because Senator Reid and the majority party in the Senate are going to take uh, their uh, annual retreat uh, to strategize uh, their program for this year and I suppose how they can challenge the re new Republican majority of the House of Representatives. Uh, this will give uh, us a chance uh, as they're retreating to catch up on some work or in my case uh, to do more counties in my 99 county tour of Iowa which I have done every year for 30 years in a row. Uh, take a couple questions right now from my Blackberry uh, but those of you who sent in questions uh, that don't get answered this way uh, we will answer those by mail. The first question comes from uh, Facebook Curtis from Dow's Iowa asks quote what about getting to the flat tax, simple and no deductions, and eliminate all subsidies to everyone? Uh, there, there would be, well, first of all, uh, I support the flat tax uh, over a state sales tax. And I want to explain the difference between a national sales tax and a flat rate income tax. I just said state sales tax. that reminds me that uh, one of the reasons I don't want a national sales tax is because the federal government has tended to rely more on the income tax as opposed to states that rely more on the sales tax. And with a federal system of taxation, in other words, the federal government has its taxes, state governments have their taxes, I don't think the federal government ought to uh, infringe upon a major source of revenue for states which would be the case with the national sales tax. Now is a national sales tax better than uh, uh, the present income tax? Yes, but I think we can accomplish both simplicity uh, as well as not harming states with a flat rate income tax. Uh, and consequently I would be working in that direction. The second question comes from Scott at Ida Grove and he tweets quote insurance companies from all 50 states need to be able to compete for my business as an Iowa. This is one of three things that I would add to the health care reform bill besides taking a lot out of the health care reform bill that ought to not be in it but three things that ought to be in it that aren't in it. Uh, selling insurance across state lines, which I think additional competition would drive down premiums. Secondly, I would include medical malpractice reform. And third, for you with uh, small business, I would have association health plans so you'd have national pools like your local car dealer in I Grove maybe can't afford health insurance for his employees, but if he was in a national pool with a national car dealers association, uh, then uh, he might be able to do that. So I would include selling insurance across state lines as a major addition to the health care reform bill. Now as I do, I notify you of what most of the business is going to be this week in the United States Senate. Uh, since it's only a, a day and a half this week, uh, on Monday we're going to vote on some district court judges and then on Monday and Tuesday we're going to continue F AA as we call it uh, reauthorization which is basically the programs that uh, run our uh, major airports in this country. Uh, then I'll see you next week. Thanks very much. Ask you to Facebook, email and tweet your questions to us. Thank you very much.